Hello everybody, Clayton here at eTrailer.com. Here at eTrailer.com, we install, test, and review a lot of different products to help you as the customer make a more educated decision before your purchase. Today we're going to be working on a Grand Design Reflection 5th wheel camper. We're going to be taking a look at, and I'll show you how easy it is to install, the Smart Plug Power Outlet. This is what our smart plug is going to look like installed. This is going to be a 50 amp version. It's going to be 125 volts by 250 volts. So it's going to cover a lot of different campers out there on the market. Now my favorite feature of our smart plug is going to be our prongs. So you might be asking yourself, you know, my plug works just fine. Why would I want to upgrade? But really this is an awesome upgrade to any camper or fifth wheel that you might have. Like I said, these prongs are extra long. So it's going to be really easy to get our plug in. And as you can see, our plug is shaped a little bit different than the standard plug. Most of our plugs on the market, you do have to push in and then twist. So this is going to be really easy to live with. And since it is shaped this way, all you have to do is hold your cord up and plug it in. As I said, it's super easy to kind of push in and snap. And it has these nice tabs on the outside that make a really good click whenever you know you get it plugged in. And as you can see, it's nice and secure. And here's the plug that we took off. Like I said, you do have to push the standard one on and twist it. So you can see those little tabs on here and that's what catches it. But what makes our smart plug so much better is there's a lot more contact area. You can see our plug where it actually is gonna twist and stop. There's only a little bit of that prong. So if there is any debris or anything on there, it's really gonna limit the charging and it's just gonna take a lot longer. Also, it's just again, not gonna be easy to live with. And what makes the smart plug so much better than any of those other plugs out there on the market is gonna be the weatherproofing. There's a really nice gasket on the inside of our cover, so whenever it's closed, it's going to hug that really tight. You're not going to have to worry about any dirt or debris and any condensation building up inside of our plug. Then when we have our plug actually plugged in, there's a gasket in this channel as well. So if it's raining, you don't have to worry about any water getting into your plug while it's being used. One really nice feature is this does have a 30 amp overheat cutoff, so if it is getting too hot, it'll automatically cut off. Our connecting pins are going to be made out of a premium material. This is going to be a nickel plated brass to ensure strong conductivity. A lot of the other ones on the market are just brass or they're nickel, so you're not going to get that same power level through the pins. But then with these being a straight longer pin, it's really going to allow us to get more contact to those pins to increase our charging. So if you aren't camping at a traditional site, which is going to use the normal style plug, you can also pick up this adapter here at eTrailer.com. You simply just plug this into here, and this allows us to use just a standard wall outlet. And the best feature of the smart plug is how easy it is to get installed. A lot of them, you're gonna have to drill new holes, but in this case, it lined right up. Now, I can't guarantee that's gonna work for every camper, but in this case, it did. So it's simply four screws and connecting our wires, pushing it up to the wall and bolting it in. With that being said, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. To start our installation, we want to pull off the factory plug that our camper is going to come with. In this case, it is a Furion plug. But before we do anything, we want to make sure that it's going to be 50 amps. And we want to make sure with our new smart plug that this one's rated for 50 amps as well. And in this case, it is. So we want to make sure that we get enough slack out of our wire. We just want to disconnect all of our electrical connections. Now, it's very important to make sure that your battery disconnect is in the off position because we don't want any power coming in or out of this plug while we're doing this. I just want to grab a flat blade screwdriver. We'll just loosen up all of our connection points. And another thing you want to keep in mind is that our new plug and our old plug are both going to have four wires. We just want to make sure that we're replacing it with the same thing that was on it. Just like that, we can set our old plug off to the side. So our plug is in a little bit different orientation than our wires were in our original bundle. I'm just going to strip back this sheathing a little bit just to give us a little bit more play with our wires due to the gauge of them. It's kind of hard to move them around. So you just want to cut that carefully, making sure not to cut any of the wires. So right there should be about good. You can just kind of bend that back out of the way. It's going to give us just a little bit more room to play with our new wires. So we're going to hook these up the exact same way that our old ones were black to black, red to red, white to white, and green to our paper covering. All we're gonna do is just slide these through our openings here, like so. Then we can grab an Allen key. We're just gonna tighten these down onto that wire. 
just like so. Just want to give it a little tug and make sure it's nice and tight. We'll repeat that same process for our remaining wires. We're now going to grab our gasket material here. We just want to hold it up to our original opening. And we already did check, but our bolt holes are going to line up, so that's going to be really nice. We just want to grab our gasket. We're going to peel the sticky tape or the layer protecting back here. I'm just going to peel this off. It is kind of hard just because this gasket wants to flex whenever you pull back on that material. And because our wire is going through it, we just want to kind of tear this here and we can work it off of that gasket. You want to be careful not to touch the adhesive to anything. You just want to double check the orientation of our gasket. This is going to be the bottom. So we do want the bigger opening facing up on our gasket. So now we just want to grab our gasket, kind of move our wire out of the way, align our holes and stick it down. With that all stuck down, just kind of run our, run our hands around it, make sure everything's good. Then we can simply push our wire back into the opening, kind of spin it around. We just kind of want to turn it and then get our screw lined up with that original hole. And then we'll just get our hardware started. And honestly, it might be nice to have an extra set of hands just to kind of hold that steady while you're getting the hardware started. And it is a little bit off compared to our stock one. So we just want to get them all started loosely. Then we can kind of move it around and adjust it to make sure it gets nice and flush to our camper. Go ahead and tighten down our last screw. It might be a little off center, but as we tighten these down, it'll kind of pull the plug into the right place and get it nice and flush to the side of our camper. Everything tidied up, we want to make sure that our door opens and closes all the way and snaps nice and closed. And in this case it does, so we're ready to plug in our cord, hook up to our power, and enjoy a nice weekend. That's going to conclude our look at and installation of our smart plug.